son of a bitch. Okay, just spilled. Sorry. Welcome to Hide Your Moms, episode five. Just spilled my uh, drink everywhere. Ugh. You know what? I'm not cutting. I'm not cutting. We're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. We're just gonna fly on. I don't care. I don't care. Let it, let it be messy. Who cares? Not me. Don't care. Uh, I'm so pissed. Actually, I'm trying to just hide it. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to Hydra Moms. What a shit start. Uh, it is Tuesday, the Tuesday after uh, Easter, and Easter was it went good. I mean, it was weird because I wasn't with my family. So I was a little bit, I didn't feel alone, but I felt, I don't know, it was just different because I wasn't with my family and it was the first one. I'm 21, so that's 21 Easters. How many do you think you remember? Maybe 15 of those, excuse me, a little bit of a belch. Uh, so that was my first one that I have ever been by myself, which again, wasn't the worst thing. I still had my friends and I still went to church. The church was actually on the beach. <sighs> church was actually on the beach, which... I really did. I am so sticky. Now I guess I get how girls feel after they do their... Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, the church was... Oh, that's not a good thing to talk about. Spence, you're talking about church, man. Ugh, sorry. Um, hmm. Well, anyway... The church was on the beach. It was really cool. They had three crosses set up. That was that was nice. I don't know what you guys believe in, but that's what I believe in. So, But it was cool to see. I don't know, just like there's so many people there. Yes, it's a church service. A lot of people go, but still. I don't really – but like I didn't get to paint any eggs. I didn't get to do the whole – I did what mattered, which is good, but I didn't get to paint any eggs. I didn't get to like – Look for the Easter bunny or can we get the Easter bunny? The Easter bunny is a pedophile, right? Like that's, that's known. Like Santa Claus has no cases against him. He has no cases. I don't think he's like a sexual predator or anything. I think he, all, he has like a good rap, Santa Claus. What's wrong with the Easter bunny? Why the Easter bunny? He, he he's, he's a pedophile for sure. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but. Maybe maybe if you're fat, you get away with not being charged or looked at criminally. But the Easter Bunny's furry and hairy and it's got, like, buck sharp teeth. It's like, yeah, you could assault someone. Gets a bad rap. What's the Tooth Fairy? Tooth Fairy get a bad rap? If the Tooth Fairy committed the crime, I would think she would have done, like, I think she would have stole. I think, she, I think the Tooth Fairy would have, like, stole from Sephora. Or wouldn't that be the case of 2024? The Tooth Fairy slept with Santa Claus. I don't want to imagine the Tooth Fairy sitting on Santa Claus's face, but Santa Claus likes to eat. So that's all I'm going to say about that. <sighs> Gross. Unless you're into that type of stuff. I don't know. But. Moving on, <laughs> we are going to, we're starting a new couple series, a couple of new series in this podcast, and I asked for you guys to slide up on my Snapchat story with stories that we can listen to, and I just want to hear like something about your life. I've just figured out that it was a good idea, because that way we can connect on a spiritual level. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see what, let's see, uh. Let's see what we got here. Uh, gotta find one. Sorry. Uh, all right, here we go. You guys ready? I love you so much. You're literally the sweetest human on the planet. You and your mom are the cutest duo I could ever imagine. And yeah, I will love. To watch how happy you are all the time, no matter what. And it's just a great inspiration. Damn it, Lexi. What the hell is that? They, these are supposed to be, this wasn't a thank you, Spencer, for being awesome. I mean, thank you. But that, I needed, I needed a, I needed, I needed you to tell me that your boyfriend beat you or something. Ugh. 
Okay, here we go. Next one. Lexi, thank you so much. I That was way too kind. I am not that nice. I don't deserve that kindness, but thank you. All right, let's see. Let's see what you got. Next one. Hit by a car. Hit by a car. Okay. Okay. I need I need more context. Get the license plate number, and I didn't really tell anyone, and I didn't get any money, hmm. and I... So, this is what I'm thinking. You get hit by a car, first thing you're thinking is money. She didn't let me know if she was safe. She didn't let me know... I think she's a scam artist. Uh, you are a scam artist. Continue. Because the damage he did to my bike and me. <laughs> she was on a bike. Oh, oh, I was thinking she was on a car. Okay, she got hit on a bike. A little bit different. Ouch, that probably hurt. Uh, bummer. Continue. Probably been like a good couple hundred bucks. All right. Really? You got hit on a bike and all you're looking for is a couple hundred bucks? You should be asking for more than that. A couple hundred dollars for getting nailed on a bike? How big was your bike? Was it like, did that, br I want to know about your tires. Are they okay? Are you okay? Did you pop your cherry? Uh, that was supposed to be a play on joke with like popping your tire and that was terrible. And I feel uncomfortable now, so I'm going to move on. Um, okay, golly, that's bad. Uh, next one, I guess. I don't even know how to move on from these. I don't know how to bridge myself. Next one. My parents are literally both dead. What do I do? Hmm. Okay, first of all, bummer about your parents second of all let's listen to that again tell me if you guys hear a tummy growl at the very end of that my parents are literally both dead what do i do oh there it was again i'm gonna play it one more time uh, i'm gonna try to play it one more time my parents are literally both dead okay yeah i get it what but, do i do right there right there Right there at the end. First of all, sweetie, you need to eat some food. All right? You are obviously hungry. And if you need me to send you a Venmo to get you something, go for it. But uh, what was this about again? My parents are literally both dead. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> oh right. Um, damn. Damn. Mm. So both of her parents are gone. The food in her stomach is non-existent. And she's so lost that she's asking for my advice. Oh, gosh. She's in a pickle. She's got three pickles. She needs to eat a damn pickle. Mm. Well, I'm going to say this. My parents are alive. Well, okay. I'm sorry that your parents are dead. And I wish they were breathing, but they're not. So, uh, I will love mine harder, and I will hug mine extra, because I will be thinking about you. Um, I don't know how to address that. Um, rest in peace. That's what they say. Rest in peace. Um... Obviously, you're open enough to tell me about it, so I'm guessing that you've had a little bit of time to heal. Mm. But, uh, yeah, wow, okay. Mm. Rest in peace. I'm, I'm sorry. But make sure you eat. Okay, so the other day, I was leaving my house, and I was walking past my driveway, and my roommate, like was backing out and she hit me with her car supposedly accidentally but I do not believe that <laughs> is everyone getting hit with the car excuse me are we are we all just car magnets uh, so we're about to sign the resign the lease for our apartment but I don't want her to live with me next year obviously so how do I tell her that or like what should I do okay okay so 
Yeah. So, <laughs> so your roommate hit you with your, her car on purpose. Um, that's attempted homicide, sweetheart. And I get, I get that you don't want to live with her. But, I mean, how many roommates are you going to get the chance to live with in your life that want to kill you? So what I'm trying to say is I think you take this opportunity to grow and learn new skills. And let's really see and test your survival to the fittest. Are you going to be able to live or are you not going to be able to live? I don't think you should be a coward. I mean, I, to me, you're a coward. You, want to, you, you don't want to live with someone that's trying to kill you. I think that shows that you're scared. And I think that shows that you don't want to grow as a human being. Ha, kill her first. Mm. Do what you need to do. Uh, you didn't hear it from me. Am I incriminating myself? Hey. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't have said it. Don't kill her first. Don't let her kill you, but do not kill her. Oh. Don't run, but don't run from your problems. Uh, don't run. Do, do live. <laughs> live. You should just live. Mm, I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad. Okay. Okay. This one is nine minutes long. There's no way we get through this all. Unless it's just sucking me in. It's okay, I literally, I literally did the voice memo thing twice, and it didn't send either time. But then that last time, I'm so sorry. That was crazy. Okay. Anyway, we'll start over for the third time. Okay. We are 15 seconds in, and I have no idea what is happening. Chop, chop, sweetie. So like, I'm 15 years old, right? Okay. So we're going to be done with that. <laughs> right, 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 right. Good, 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 good. Okay. Not a big deal. <laughs> I feel so bad because she did nine minutes of... That was a nine-minute story that we'll just never know. We'll never know. Huh. <sighs> Okay, where are the other ones? I can't find them. Okay, here's another, here's here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so three months ago, this guy added me up. This is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you're gonna send me a voice memo, you get right into the story. I eat that up. Good job. Uh. Sorry. Snapchat. We started talking. Then we realized we went to the same high school together and we had the same class. Oh. Well, he was two years older than me. Okay. And he goes to a different college, but he lives in the same town I live in. So it was over Christmas break and we started talking. Guys get hornier. If a guy's two years older than you, he's going to be horny. And he, he could be preying upon you just in case. Might need to just be ready for that. Talking. And then I asked him, hey, would you want to go out sometime? And then he said... Yeah, I mean, a woman taking initiative. A woman taking initiative. I like it. Maybe she's horny as well. Yeah, but I have to let you know that I just got out of a two and a half year long relationship mm. like a month ago. Let me just give some advice. This is not going to go well. I haven't listened to the rest of this. Not going to go well. Man, a man just out of a two year relationship at this kind of age, that means like that was probably the first girl that he ever loved. Okay. If you're the if you're the second girl after the first girl he ever loved, you're in trouble. Well, I appreciate you telling me that. He said, "Yeah, you're super cute and sweet, and I'm not looking for anything serious right now, but I really enjoy." He wants to. He wants to uh, dogify you. You need to know you, so. I didn't really know what to say to that either, but I'm also not looking for anything serious. So I was like, yeah. She wants to be dogified. That's fine, whatever. So I'm going to go on to talking, but there was never a good time to actually go out. So he goes back to college and he comes home like once a month, twice a month, whatever. So I thought, well, once he's back in town, we can go out. 
talking. First of all, very cute, very, very, what is that word where you stick around or like you're very, very persistent or like very, very believable in like sticking around. Persistent, I think. Like very persistent in like staying with this man and like not forgetting about him. Because I, I, like a, a time, like time has gone by. And, okay. And you, you still want to, you still want it. Got it. For a month and a half, every day. And it's very flirtatious and it's no brainer that we're both into each other. Right. Then all of a sudden he stops talking to me. Mm. Bingo. You could call it from the beginning. And, 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 I, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you can. And, and, I, and I'm not a guru. I'm just like you guys. I poop. I pee. I forget to shave my armpits as well. Yeah, I do that. But whatever. I, I'm, I'm a human being. But these are things that you just have to know as a human being. And I'll tell you exactly why he stopped talking to her. He breaks up with his girlfriend of two years. Again, I don't know their story. I don't, I don't know who this is. They break, he breaks up with his girlfriend of two years. Okay. Got it. Now he starts talking to you. You are shoots. When the ball comes off, you're a rebound. That's what you are. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to flirt around the idea of you or not being it, oh, we're flirting with each other. Yeah, words are words, all right? That's it. He doesn't want you. You are a rebound. He is doing this because his girlfriend that he loves is not talking to him at this moment. There's no contact doing whatever, which makes sense because that's about a month and a half. Now, I'm going to continue with this story, see what happens, but I'm letting you know right now he is either talking to, back with his other girlfriend back with his previous girlfriend that he was with for two years, or he is now talking to someone else, which that one's highly unlikely. Hike, unlikely. And I even say, like, is everything okay? You good? And he said, yeah, just busy. So I'm like, okay. Busy in his ex-girlfriend's push. Got the hit, whatever. We still snapped. Then a few weeks later, I had to volunteer to get community service hours for a scholarship during spring break. So I go to the food bank. Guess who's Aww. also at the food bank the same day, the same time? His ex-girlfriend. Or maybe him. No, oh, it's him. And I was going to go up to him and be like, hey, how's it going? You know, be friendly. And he avoided me, would not make eye contact, walked away and like looked away when he passed by me, whatever. So I'm like, okay. Then a week later, he left me on open. Oh. And I'm like, huh. I got the hint, but I was just confused over the situation because he never said anything, and I was just really pissed off over his actions. Okay, well, I basically explained what happened to you. Um, men will do that. They'll they'll need someone to talk to. They need something to be like. It's almost like an ego boost, kind of. You, they need to talk to somebody because their ego just got hurt. And, like, their feelings are really hurt, so they like to talk to someone, like, let someone fill the void. Trust me, I've done it. I know. Sadly, I've done it. But, yeah, I know. And that's just how it goes. And um, usually the ex-girlfriend comes back into the picture or is a new girl. It's never – he never just cuts off all girls, is working on himself. Just doesn't happen. I'm sorry if you think it does. It doesn't. It just doesn't. And, uh Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Let's see if we can find, see if we want to do another one or not. I don't know. That one was pretty good. That could have been, that might have been the one to end it on. Is it? Should I end it? All right, we'll, we'll call it. There's a few more, but they're really long, so we'll call it. Ah. But yeah, so that's a new series that we're starting on the, um, on the good old podcast. So yeah, that's the new series that we're starting on the podcast. Uh, we have a couple other that I have in mind. I don't know if I want to start. Do I want to start it here? Do I want to start it next podcast? Uh, ah, screw it. We'll start it here. I don't care. Screw it. Um, <laughs> this series is... Oh, should I let you guys know or should I not? No, I will. This series is my Tinder messages. Someone slid up and was like, hey, you should go on Tinder and then you should let us watch all of your uh, – and then you should let us watch all of your Tinder messages. And I was like, that's a great idea. I haven't been on Tinder in forever. Let's see what's going on out here. So 
Um, we're going to go through these really quick. And uh, let me find where some of them are. Oh, did that girl unmatch me? She did unmatch me. I'm pissed. Good thing I got screenshots. Hold on. I'll go read it to you in a second because I screenshotted it because I had a feeling she might have unmatched me. <laughs> okay. So I say to this girl, I said, hey, do you like Monopoly? She said, yes. Why? And I have no plans for these, for these insults, by the way. Or not insults. I have no plan for these, like, no, any of this. I go in just I, – I don't even know what I'm saying because I don't really know how to talk to women. You guys know that. I try my hardest. I feel like I have some smooth moments. I won't lie. But then again, I feel like most of it's just like, oh, man, what the hell? Like, what are you doing? Uh, so anyway, she said, yes, why? I said, looks like you'll, you'll be my new property. Really? The first two sentences, Spencer, you're telling her that you're going to own her? Not the best look. Not the best look. So I instantly, before she could even respond, I said, I apologize. That's not me as a human. And I, and I felt bad. I was trying to do one of those, like, I don't know if I was trying to be like some type of sway boy. I, I don't know. I was trying to be bad, be a bad boy. Mm. But I couldn't be. She said, to my surprise, oh, wow, I haven't heard that one yet. I said, how was it? She said, like 7.8 out of 10. And then she said, do you live here in Hawaii? I said, I reside here. She said, so yes. I said, I have no air condition, so I'm pretty sure. I thought that was kind of smooth. I don't know. She says, are you okay? She doesn't spell out are you. She types the letter R space U space okay. Which means I got her on her toes. So I was like, this is where I capitalize. I said, balls are a little sweaty, but other than that, yes. I don't really know how that's not. I mean, I told her I had no air condition. I was trying to prove to her that I live in Hawaii. So I said, she said, I can't tell if you're funny or really weird. Which was, I like that. I like that response. I don't want to be overly, how do I explain? I don't want to be just. I, that's, I, that's who I am. I'm weird and funny, I guess. So I, I, I was like, yeah, I agree. I'm bipolar. She said, okay, sounds good. That was a couple days ago, and I go and check today, and she unmatched with me. I thought that one was going – man. I thought that one was going somewhere, but I guess not. And just in case you don't believe me, here's uh, – Here's the screenshots right there. Over there, over here. I don't know where it is, but it's right there somewhere to prove it. All right, next one. I thought that one wasn't bad, but whatever. This one, I matched with this girl. She is six foot. I'm 5'10", which means I say this. I said, I can climb trees, exclamation point. She said, like pro climber or beginner. Because I'm going to need a pro. I was like, ooh, yeah, I could be pro. But I was like, I can only usually climb halfway. I can usually only climb about halfway. I don't know if she got the analogy, but when I said I can climb trees and the fact that she's six foot, she's supposed to understand that she is the tree in this situation. Which also means that me climbing about halfway if she used her brain, she would have got what I was saying. You know? Vagina, in other words, is halfway. So just in case you didn't get the... Just in case you didn't get the... Mm, this one hurts me. This one hurts me because I feel bad about saying it. But it was one of those moments where I, I shouldn't have said it, but I did. Um... So this was one of my first matches I got, and I, this was my first time back on Tinder. So I'm like, okay, let's see how my profile is. Let's ask someone that's on Tinder. Um, so I matched with this girl. I said, can you give me an honest opinion on my profile? She said, 9 out of 10, you need a dog or some kind of animal. I don't have any animals in my thing. Sorry, forgot. I didn't know this was a Tinder for Airbud. 
What am I supposed to have? Old Yeller? Whatever. I said, <laughs> I can't even. Let me reread it to keep you. Can you give me an honest opinion on my profile? She said, 9 out of 10, you need a dog or some kind of animal. I said, well, your kitty will do. Yeah. It's bad, man. It's bad. She said, wasn't expecting that. Me either. Me either, Kenzie. It's never going to work. How am I ever going to get a girlfriend talking about a girl's for JJ in the first two sentences? <laughs> uh. let's, let's just go to this one. Let's just go to this one. This one I felt like didn't go bad. I felt like this one, I made, there could be something there. There could be something there. So I text her. I said, I still pee in the pool. Just trying to let her know a little bit about myself. She said, me too. I said, how often? She said, probably every time I go in the pool. So I was like, okay, here's where I, let me gaslight her. That always gets girls nowadays. Let me try. I said, ew, you are nasty. She said, thank you. And then I was like, since I called her nasty, let me be nasty with her. So I said, please let me be your pool. And the, the real issue, <laughs> the real issue to this whole thing is the fact that she replies, you're funny with a bunch of ends and a winky face. I think she wants to piss in my mouth. I don't want her to. Huh. All right, here's another one. I'm sorry if you're tired of these, but I, I, was, I, I just tried really hard, and I feel like if I don't put these in here for you guys to see, then it'll be a waste of, it'll be a waste of me trying. So, again, this is one of my first matches that I got. I said, can you give me an honest opinion about my profile, please? She said, that was a dumb question. What do you mean? What do you mean? All I said was, can I get a, can I get it a, can you just give me an opinion? You could have said it was terrible. So that made me mad. So what I said back was, Ugh, your dad left you, frowny face. Pissed me off. That's all. Jeez. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one's bad too. I forget. I forgot about these because these were like a couple days ago. Uh, okay. Here's this one. Again, no plan with what I'm going to say on these. I said, what's bloody and has two eyes? It's a riddle. See if she could crack the code. She said, uh... A beef stick. I said, I, what the hell? What's bloody and has two eyes? A beef stick? Be for real. No. I said, you on your period. She said, oh, that was a good one. Okay, first of all, why are girls, like, just talking to people, continuing to talk? To people about this. If someone talks about your period in the first sentence, you don't respond. Okay? Don't respond. She said, oh, that was a good one. And then I didn't answer because I didn't know what to say. But right after that, she said, what's the difference between roast beef and pea soup? I was like, oh, okay. I get what she's, I get what she's trying to do here. She's going to be funny back. So what's the difference between roast beef and pea soup? I said, you don't have pea soup. Um, she ignored that smartly 
And she said, anybody can roast beef, but nobody can pea soup. Terrible. <laughs> I mean terrible. So I don't respond. I don't respond. But then, <laughs> this comes full circle a moment. I have now joked about her on her period, and I have now said or implied that she has roast beef. So I go to yoga yesterday, and I'm trying to park my moped. When I'm parking my moped, two other girls have their moped parked at, like, where I park, but they're not going to yoga. I don't know why they were there. They were trying to leave while I was parking my moped. And this girl says, hey, do you know anything about mopeds? And I was like, yeah, a little bit. And then her friend's moped was, like, broken down. But I had no idea. It was, like, screeching really loud. I did not know how to fix it. So I was like, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Have a good night. Like, I don't, I don't know. It was being my, like, just trying to be nice. I didn't, know what, I didn't know how to help. I was like, I just would not drive that because that might not be safe. And that's basically all I said. And uh, then I get back on Tinder to just check in, see if I'm pulling. And she says, same girl, says, Hey, thanks for trying to help with my friend's moped. We got it running. You're telling me that the girls that I was trying to help with their moped knew the whole time that I had joked about roast beef. I said in all caps back, no way, this island is too little. She said, yeah, ha, what are the odds? That's crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know. What do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know. Because... I feel terrible. But I also just wish that I wouldn't say the things that I do. You know? Uh, and I couldn't even rec I didn't even recognize her in real life because I guess I just thought I would never see him because it's like a Tinder profile. It's like, oh, I'd never see them in person. Yeah. Nothing's ever worked for me on Tinder, by the way. If, if anyone, like, has a boyfriend or, like, a husband from Tinder or a girlfriend or girlfriend from Tinder, please let me know. Because how you have that in the first place is beyond me. I, like, how? That was all... Nah, that was all because I did hot Pilates, man. I'm into hot Pilates, by the way. I don't know if I forgot to tell you that, but I got sidetracked by roast beef. But anyway, I'm in hot Pilates, and the goal was to go there to meet, like, single moms, like, jacked moms, like, ripped moms. Like, I wanted a mom with some abs. I was like, yeah, let's see. They're there. They're there. But I'm not good enough at hot Pilates or hot yoga. It's the same thing, kind of. Pilates is just more of like a workout and hot yoga is more of like stretching. Um, but I'm just not good enough at like the poses and the stretches to even be able to flirt with anyone, which sucks, but I don't know. I'm trying. I mean, it, I don't know. I don't know. I love it. I do, I do love it. Let's let's not let's not get that twisted. I love I love going and I love doing it, but I just get it's a really good workout. You sweat a lot, but I don't know if I could do like I don't know if I could do it forever is my thing. I it's you sweat nonstop. I go through two underwears a day. Every day, because I wear my underwear all day. Well, I do two workouts. I work out at the gym. So I'll work out or I'll wake up, put my underwear on after I shower. Make sure I grab a pair with no poop stains. And we'll put them on, wear those. I'll go to the gym. Then after I go to the gym, I'll take those underwear off because it's just like I don't want to be walking around with 
gross underwear like that. And then I'll put another pair of underwear on. And then I'll go to Pilates, sweat so much in those, then I have to go home and take those underwear off. And if you're a normal human, you have about two weeks, I would say two weeks of underwear. And if you're wearing two a day, you do the math. One week of underwear, which means one week of laundry because if you're out of underwear, you have to do laundry. You can get around other stuff being dirty. Your shirts are all dirty. You can get around it. But you can't get around the underwear that hangs out with my sweaty ball sack and my poopy little butt all day. You're not going to be able to wear those twice. Oh, you want to turn them inside out? No. Gross. It's gross. It's gross. Gosh, that hurt. My ADHD is flaring. Flaring up. I'm telling you, it's flaring up. Who is blowing my phone up? Okay, sorry. I don't know. I thought I was getting a call, but it was something else. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, But I'm going to break that motherfucking phone. Ooh, I just noticed something. Girls, have you ever had... Oh, that would be so gross. I don't want to say that, really. You think a girl's ever, like, let her friend call her over and over and over? Or, like, post it on Instagram and let all the likes come in and let her phone just vibrate, 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 and they just... You think? I don't think so. I hope not. And I'm not projecting. That's not something I would do or thought of or even have done at all. But... (laughs) All right, I'm getting off the gross... I'm getting off the gross subject. I'm going home... I've decided I'm going home 100% for the summer, May 1st. I looked at the flights. May 1st is a Wednesday. I bought the May 1st flight. And, um, yeah, I'm going home. I'm, in, I'm pretty excited. I am ready to see my mom, and I am ready to see my friends. And I'm ready to be on the same time schedule as, like, everyone. I don't know how many people that live in Hawaii are actually watching this. So... I don't know. It's like the Hawaii, the Hawaii schedule. It's 4 o'clock right now for me. Back home, it's like 9 or 10, depending on where you live. But, like, that's just insane that I am that far behind, like, uh, like everything. Like, a business closes. Like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, it's 2 o'clock for me. Back home, I need to call a business or something or, or something. And it's, like, 8 o'clock for them. They're past office hours. They're out. Drives me nuts. But, yeah, so I'm going home. I'm going home. May 1st, we are also planning on a uh, island hopping adventure. Let me burp really quick. I've had the burps today. It's that, it's this story, I think. Ugh. Um, but yeah, we're going to go island hop. We are going to the big island. Um, so you'll see a vlog of all that. And we got some a bunch of my friends going. Pretty sure it should be fun. The only reason they were like, what island do we want to go to? We want to go to one last island before we all disperse and like this year of friendship is kind of concluded. (laughs) That was sad. Why do they say that? Anyway, I was like, we're going to Big Island. They're like, why Big Island? Cows. There There is a sanctuary that allows you to cuddle with cows. It is cow cuddling. That is literally what it's called. You pay a certain amount of money and you go in these and you just lay with these cows. And it's like a form of therapy. My favorite animal is hippos and cows. I like things that are fat. That is what I want. I want to do that. I want to hold one of those. I want to, I wonder if they'll let us milk them. I'd milk them. You could almost be looking like you're doing 
two separate things there. But I, that, but that's the, that's the reason I really want to go to this because I want to go see a cow so bad. And my friends are like, okay, that's fine. So we got about like four or five of us going. I think we're gonna do that around the middle of April. It's my guess. Uh, yeah, it would have to be middle of April because we're not gonna we leave early May. So yeah, I'm gonna go home. I got this whole wedding thing planned out, and. Uh, I'm excited. I do. I wrote this. I wrote this down. Um, Mom, 100%. Mom, mom, brother, brother's fiance, if any of you guys are watching this, please click off now because I am going to read my best man speech that I wrote at 10 p.m. or like 2 a.m. the other day in like 10 minutes. Please. Please do not watch or it'll spoil the whole thing. Okay? Thank you. Um, so here we go. This is my best man's speech. I got a best, I got a wedding. I don't know if you guys have, if you guys are caught up, but if you are caught up, you know I have a wedding June 1st. It's my brother's. I'm a best man. Have to do a speech for that. You get to like stand up. It's kind of like it's they call it a best man toast or best man speech, whatever. Either or that's what it is. I've been having a tr- t- uh, little, little, little. been having a tough time with it because of the fact that I'm a really like rated R joker, really out of pocket joker, and there's gonna be grandparents, and there's gonna be not mine, mine's mine's gone, but there's gonna be grandparents. <laughs> Trauma dump. There's gonna be grandparents, and I don't want to be like so out of pocket and you know lose the crowd, right? Um, so I guess you could say this is my first comedy stand up bit. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I see if I love it or see if I bomb. Uh, so if you're not, if you're not watching, if you're any of my friends, if you're going to be at the wedding, if you're going to be at the wedding, please do not watch this part. Skip ahead. Stop watching, please. I don't want this to be spoiled. I want, if you're going to be at the wedding, you wait for me to deliver it there. Um, but for everyone else, here we go. This is, this is a rough draft. Let me be clear. I don't know why I got picked to be given a microphone, but I could not be happier. Oh, this could be my microphone. I don't know why I got picked to be given a microphone, but I could not be happier. I'm so happy for the bride and the groom, even though I cannot tell which is which sometimes. That's because... I'm not going to explain the joke. I guess you get it. Uh, did Did I think they would last this far? Absolutely. Do I think he will last tonight? Uh, absolutely not. That is a cum joke. Um, Brenna, you, that's my, uh, fiance-in-law's, what is she called? Fiance-in-law? Sister-in-law? That's her name. I said, meh, Brenna, you have been a sister to me for most of my life. You showed my brother he could be loved. You also showed me that he has high standards. You have taught me that a kid could get bit in the face by a dog and can still come out with a cute artificial dimple. I learned from you that a water that a clear water bottle doesn't always have water in it. You also taught me girls have toe hair, which I didn't know until I walked in on you shaving them in my sink. And uh, yeah, you look great. Yeah, you look great, I guess. Um, where was I at? I got lost. Brother, I'd say his name, obviously. But brother, you have taught me how to be a man. You have paved the path for me in my life that was much easier for you to... Ah, oh, shit, I messed up. That's not in it. Uh, you have paved the path for me in my life that was much easier for me to follow than it was for you to make. You bullied me the right amount, excluding the time you pushed me down the stairs on a dog kennel. You have given me your shoulder to cry on. You even showed me it's okay to be a fan of football teams with no Super Bowls. And somehow, you gave me this microphone to talk about your wife's toes. Little callback joke there, little callback joke. Uh, In all seriousness, I'm so happy for you guys. The only people I know this love would mean more to couldn't be here tonight. They both, me and my brother have a missing grandparent. Fiance has a missing grandparent, so I just shout out them. Um, And I basically just said, Grandma and Grandpa, not going to say their names, Grandma and Grandpa are watching upstairs and are both smiling down at you guys. I love you guys so much. God bless. Please make me an uncle. 
which if he doesn't last, I'm sure I might be by the end of the night. But yeah, so what do you guys think? I mean, I don't think it's bad. Again, if you are in the we- if you're in the wedding or you're going to be at the wedding and you watch this, shame on you. Shame on you. I gave you fair warning and I told you I didn't want you to know. So, please do not. Please. I'm trying to think of some of my summer pr- plans that I want to let you know about other than that wedding. The wedding, the um oh my gosh. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. The Spincy brand is basically fully launched. It is the samples were ordered. I have the I have the products. It is sweatpants, it is crewnecks, it is um it's spincy, spence, and then C. You guys get it? You guys get it, right? Right? Spin, like spincy, but it's spelled S P E N S E A. So it's a beach, it's a beach clothing brand. And um, so the goal is to like sell beach sweats and like beach crew necks and um, beach, uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I got something else for it. Oh, uh, there's like crop, we're going to have hot crop tops for the girls that have hoods on them. Oh, that might be my favorite product. I don't I'm not even going to wear it. But yeah, I'm super excited for you guys to see it. Should be around mid June that drops. Just ordered the samples today. That'll take about three weeks to get to me. And so I will get those early May. If they're good, if it's what I need, if it's what I want to launch, and it's the right thing that I that I want to sell, and that, that's actually I'm satisfied with the product, then they will be there'll be a drop probably by mid-June, is my guess. Um, I want like the goal is to get it done before July. That is my goal. Um, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, but just to whatever I can control, I will be busting my ass to get that to be the case. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I'll show, this is the logo right here. What do you guys think, huh? A little palm tree action. I love it. The spin C across. Oh, it's so good. To me, it's so good. I went through so many different logos, like trying to figure out which logo I wanted to do. And that one just... That one just was like money to me. I, had, I don't know. I just loved it. So I'm sure that this summer will be like this summer will be wedding, Spencer's business, uh, Spency, um, figure out where, where I'm going to move and when I'm going to move and how I'm going to move. Uh, I got some stuff working behind the scenes on what where I'm going to be and where I'm going to land. We'll let you know as soon as I know. And then... Trying to think of what else we got. And then there's going to be, I'm taking a few trips with my friends um, in June, late June. Is everything happening in June? I guess so. Late June, me and my friends are going to a pretty big lake. If you are around Kansas or the Midwest, you probably know Table Rock. So we're going on a, we're going on a week Table Rock trip with uh, some of my friends. So that'll be fun. I'm sure you guys will see some of that. Mm, I think that's it. Is that it for the summer plans? I don't know. Probably just going to drink a lot of beer, spend a lot of time with my family. Um, The plan is right now that this will be, and I've said this a lot, but this will be my last summer at home, like with my own room. Like like I've been out of school, or not school, I've been out of the house for a while, but I've always came home every summer. I've always came home every winter. I've always had my own room, but that will change because I think that I am going to be getting my own apartment, which means I would basically move everything out of my room to that apartment, so I wouldn't even have a room anymore, and my mom is getting old as shit, and she's obsessed with, like, crafts and, like, grandma activities now, so she wants, like, a craft room which is fine. I love her that she is getting hobbies and it's so cute. She's a little old lady. But uh, yeah, this might be my last last summer with a room, which is sad, but it's also like, yeah, you're growing, you're doing your thing, like good. So I'll probably spend a lot of time drinking beer and hanging out with my family and hanging out with my friends because um, yes, I'll be back, but I just feel like since I won't have a place, like a full room to stay and like... I don't know, just be different. I don't know 
how long I'll be back, if that makes sense. So, like, I doubt I'm back for, like, a whole summer again or something. Does that make, I, don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but, yeah. Um, that's, that's really it. I hope me scratching my balls is out of the camera right now, if I'm going to be honest. Sorry, that was just itchy. Ah. Oh, oh, also, if you're watching this podcast still, comment. There's going to be a comment. You guys killed it on the last one. I didn't think that many people watched the podcast all the way through like that. Yeah, guys, killed it on the last one. So if you are watching this right now, comment. Shit. I don't know what you should comment. Comment Spincy. Comment Spincy. And let me let me hear if you got all the way to my brand and that'll be cool. Hopefully with the Spincy brand, gonna keep prices around thirty to thirty-five dollars. I don't want really anything getting into the forties. Um did the math on everything that I'm ordering. Should be around that price range should be around around 35 35 dollars is what i'm thinking which i don't think is that bad i think a lot of people overcharge for clothes some people will sell like basic clothes for like 60 to 70 dollars it's like really really you don't need that much of a margin um i want to see my clothes out there I don't really care as much about the money coming in. I want to see my clothes on people's backs. Like, that's what's cool to me. Does it look like I'm fat right now? My ADHD just hit. I'm slanted. I, I'm kind of slanted, like, leaning over this. And so I feel like I'm just, like, fat. Maybe I should just lean up and look like this. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my brain. I'm losing mine. I think I should record a song on this. He takes Colorado when he leaves. Leaves the door for the winter, lets the cold in. And wonders if our love is strong enough to make him stay. She's answered by the daylights shining through the window pane. I said I want to see you again, but I'm stuck in cold weather. Maybe tomorrow will be. Oh. I'm done. I shouldn't be a singer, and I shouldn't be a composer, and I shouldn't be a Mozarter. Why do I always get so sweaty in these damn podcasts, man? I get sweaty. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to just always... From now on, you probably won't see a podcast without me having a tank top on. Uh, I'm just done, man. I don't know. My belly lays horizontal. When I was skinny, it used to be vertical, but now it closes with a crease horizontal, and it makes me feel fat. My breath stinks because I'm smelling it in here, and uh, it's not that good. I'm just kidding. It smelled pretty good, actually. I just need an excuse to get my ass out of there before I had a heat stroke. All right. I think that'll do it. I mean, there's, let me know if you guys like the new, let me know if you guys like the new, um, what's it called? The new segments that we did, the Tinder and the voice memos. Let me know. Uh, I liked them. So whatever, if you don't like them, then whatever. Let me know if you guys want to hear some new segments at some point, or you have some ideas. Let me know. Drop them in the comments. Tell me on Snapchat, anything. All right. Love you guys. Love you so much. Peace out.